Hey there guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing a bit of Dead Side and I've decided I'm going to make a video to show you guys how to go about getting water, how to get food, whether it be cooking it or just getting uh, the cans and stuff like that. Um, yeah, all things to do basically with your uh, food, thirst and even your health. So, uh, first up we're going to talk about water. There's four different ways to get water, guys. The first one and the most obvious one here is in the trader. This guy here. Talk to him and recovery items. And there's your soda. This goes the same, guys, for health stuff and for food. So I won't cover this in the, in the other chapters, but you can just buy them. I, I actually would never buy any of these. You get all of these pretty easily just from playing the game. And they cost quite a lot. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. So option number two for um, water and... This would actually be the same for food, so I'm just going to pop this in at the same spot. Um, do missions. Just play the game, guys. The more missions you do, the more food and water you get. Because every scav and every military guy in the game has a chance to have food or water in their jackets or pants when they die. So, literally, just go around. I always do the level 3s, um, minimum usually. But, you know, if you are new to the game or whatever, just start with the level 1s and uh, work your way up. Um, until you're a bit more comfortable with the game. And then you can just start doing level 3s. Um, even just with a pistol or whatever. But yeah. Kill kill mobs. Do the missions. Get food and water. Alright guys. So for option number 3. There are wells in every town. So if you open up your map. Every town is the yellow dots. Uh, the white dots are just points of interest. They'll have like maybe 3 or 4 buildings for other loot. But the yellow towns. Every yellow town has a well in them. So usually if you walk up. It will say either this or the water has run out. So that means as well you can't use it right now. They kind of go on a alternate like refills and stuff. It's really weird how it works. But this is how it is, this is how it is at the moment. Um, so that well has run out. We can't actually fill our um, bottle. So every town has one of these. They also have another um, little kind of water hydrant. And I'm going to show you that now. All right, guys. So um, this is the other uh, kind of like water hydrant thing that you can get water from. This one is also out. I'm recording these at different times. So I actually think the one that I showed you just a second ago <laughs> is actually working now. Because what I've noticed is um, if Kimmick is not working, Krasno is. Um, because I play out a lot. As you can see, my base is down south. I play out a lot and I usually do these missions here. There's an epic just after popping. But yeah, so what I would normally do is if I needed water, I would check Krasno or Kimmick. And usually I'll get full there. Anyway, guys, let's move on to option number four. So the last way to go about getting water is if you have a base built, you can also build one of these. This is a water collector. It can hold up to 300 of the water and you can just go over with your water bottles or flask, whatever it may be, and uh, fill away. Also, if you're wondering how to get these flasks here, the one here that I'm going to drink out, one of these, uh, there's two ways. Obviously, you just loot one from killing scavs or you know randomly throughout the world or if you do not have the definitive edition yet and um, you can upgrade and then every time you spawn you'll actually spawn with um one of these bottles and a walkie talkie so that's just a, a an extra quick thing all right let's move on to food here all right guys so we're gonna start off the food section here and um, the first two ways to get food guys are the same as water you can buy it off the vendor or you can kill guys in missions and stuff and they have a chance to drop it okay the other way um another way is to get ducks so see these like brown like kind of reeds all along the riverbanks and um, as soon as you walk near one of them there will usually be one or two ducks that will fly up and you can shoot them so we're going to do that first All right, kind of kind of rushed the first shot, but that's okay. And there we go. There's one, and there's another one after going up. I don't know where he went though. All right, well, I, I I don't know where he went, but that's okay. So, um, well, also another thing to do that you have to do with the duck is you have to have a knife. It's very important to have a knife if you're doing it this way. So what you do is you put the duck on the ground, you take out your knife, and then you can cut up with G. And there we go. We got two raw duck meat. All right. That's a very easy way to get raw duck meat. 
Um, another way, guys, there is uh, these camps throughout the area. Um, and then where is it in this camp? I think it's on this table, so it's not after spawning today. Um, on this table, I'm pretty sure it's here. You can get like just a random duck, a uh, dead duck that you can just loot. Um, just check the tents and stuff as well, because they can be just right on the edge of the tents here. Where's that? Gorka pants. Oh, there we go. There's some duck meat. Right there. On that crate. So on any camps like these guys, make sure you're checking the tables and around the fireplaces. Um, and you will get either raw or cooked duck. Alright guys, so the other way of getting raw food is just by fishing, which they only just brought in in the last patch. It's very, very simple. The fishing rod can be found throughout the world. Um, it's also a decent, really good spawn at the, them little survival camps that I just showed you um, with the ducks. So yeah, if you're any by any of them camps, uh, just run around there and you'll, you'll you will find a fish runner pretty fast, guys. They're not that rare. So all you do, guys, is you literally walk over to the water, hit left click, and then once the little bobber pops down in the water, you just left click again and you'll catch a fish. It's it's very very simple. There's no like little mini game or anything like that. You just click when the bobber um splashes. If it decides to, you know, splash. All right, that took way longer than all of my other casts before, but um, okay. Anyway, that is all you got to do, guys. So now, as you can see, we have two raw fish. And to, to uh, cut up the fish, it's the exact same way, guys. You put the fish on the ground, you get your knife out, and you just cut them up. So we're going to show you now how to cook them. It's very, very simple as well, guys. Very, very simple. Um, the first thing you're going to have to do, guys, is if you hit B and you go to... um top one here and you can go to the campfire in the middle you'll see that you need five branches now the only way to get branches guys is to go to a bush of some sort all right when you're at the bush guys you just walk over and you just start swinging like a lunatic like an absolute lunatic don't worry about the bush and um, break or anything like that it doesn't you can just sit here all day and gather as many branches as you want and there we go we have like 18 branches that is going to be plenty so you need five branches to start a fire. Uh, you also need to have firewood in it then as well. Um, so you can either use more branches or you can use actual wood that uh, you know that you use like while building your base or whatever. So we're gonna just go in here. We'll pop the fireplace in here. All right, guys. I uh, I have to start out my lighter because I always throw my lighter away because uh, I only cook like rarely. You know, I I I usually go out, farm a couple of ducks, come home cook them all and then i don't worry about my lighter then for the rest of it <laughs> you know the rest of the day um anyway so what we do is we get our campfire and we can place it it does have to be placed on flat ground i've noticed that so you do have to kind of yeah kind of find flattish ground and hit f okay and then what you do guys is you open you put in your branches you put in your Oh, sorry, you have to light it first, and then you put in your this food, not the fish, because I didn't gut the fish yet. That's what's wrong. So put the fish out here. Just be careful, guys. Um, the food can, um, the food can burn. So just try and keep an eye on it. And it does cook pretty fast. So there you are. There's one duck meat, and I'm gonna let the other one burn so you guys can see that it does burn and it does uh it does uh 
it dehydrates you a lot, uh, burnt food does. So, yeah, you don't really want to be eating any burnt food. Okay, uh, we'll, just, we'll cut this one up as well. I'm pretty sure it's burning right now. I think that's what the extra sound is there. All right, and there we go. So we have two raw fish steaks. Oh, no, it's not burning yet. I'm going to go get um, a bit more wood here so that fire doesn't go out. There's my body from earlier when I had to get my lighter. And there we go. It's after burning. Burnt duck meat. So we'll put in our fish now. We'll cook that up. Um, I'll show you the effects of the burnt duck on your water. Just while you're here. Uh, as you can see, my food is going up, but my water is starting to drop rapidly. There's another fried fish. As you guys can see, my water is still going down. Even though my food has stopped going up, my water is still going down. That's about 30 water that you lose um, if you eat burnt food. So, yeah, stay away from burnt food, guys. And that's it. That is pretty much it, guys. Very easy to go about getting your food, cooking it, um, and you should just stock up on it. What, what I normally do, especially when I have a base set up like this, is I will go out into them, like, uh, reed areas. I'll shoot down, like, 10 ducks, come back, cook them all up, and then that's that's, like, plenty for two days of playing for me. At least two days of playing. Um, because you're going to find like canned food and stuff like that as well. Like as you can see I have three canned tomato on me as well. So just from doing missions guys. you're It's 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 very easy to get food, water. Um, especially if you have base and you have this water collector. It makes things a lot easier with water. Um, water does run out more than food. So yeah. But anyway guys. Um, yeah. If you found this helpful. Please do throw a like on the video. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if there's any other way that you guys go about getting food and water. I think I covered them all, but just let me know. I, I could have missed something. And uh, do subscribe, guys, for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.